Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of the bunny tutorial. If you're just stumbling on this video now and you haven't done part one but you'd like to get involved and draw this bunny with me, I'll link it down below. But for everyone else who's ready to get on with the next section, let's just crack on. Everything you need to know is in the description from the reference photo to the line drawing. Sorry I hadn't changed the links on that at first in the last one but it's all sorted now. And yeah, let's just get started. So I've got a cold, sounds stuffy, I've got the window open, lots of birds outside, so excuse all that, but um, yeah, we're gonna just get stuck in. So I think I'm gonna use the buff titanium as the base still, and I'm gonna start on this top bit of the face. So I'm gonna bring that Luminance buff titanium out to the edge and just blend it in. Love this colour for a base coat. I think I might actually need to order a new one soon. It's gone a bit stumpy. Used it a lot recently. There we go. That'll do for now, and because it is very like, um, like what colour would you describe that as? Like peachy, like sort of colour. I am gonna use the Luminance Brown Orchid ten percent and just start adding a bit of that colour in just to make it a bit more like peachy toned, whatever colour you describe this as. So yeah, this video is like very springy with all the <laughs> bird sounds and stuff outside. It's a really warm day. Um, the weather's been like really weird. It's been warm one day, cold the next day. So one day you've got like your summer dress on and then the next day you've got your jumpers and your boots on again. It's really typical British weather that though, isn't it? Wouldn't expect any less. So I'm just blending that in. There we go, now it's got a really nice like undercoat base layer ready to go on top of the fur detail. And that um, buff titanium sort of just acts like a nice light layer to then add to. I wouldn't like to go straight in with the brown ochre I don't think, go a bit like patchy. So anyway, let's now use, let's use nougat as the first colour to carry on mapping in the fur. So again, I'm sort of just doing like little like crossing over fur strokes to try and build up some texture. And it seems like there's a lot of like lighter bits in between really darker bits of fur. It's very textured, so I'm gonna try my best to imitate that. Got little hairs sticking up the top. following that direction. I'm doing some like upward strokes, some downwards ones, whatever's easiest to like build it up for you. There we go, that'll do for now. And then the next colour, I'm going to use the burnt umber and start building up those darker bits. So like I said, it is very like textured. There's like really dark patches and then there's lighter patches. So I'm gonna try my best to make it look patchy. So I just do little strokes in patches like that. I'm 
and I'm just twisting my pencil around to get like the sharpest point and just mixing it up with like the upwards and downward strokes again crossing them over so it looks nice and natural sharpen it a bit. It's very important that your pencil's really sharp for this kind of fur. Uh, you want to see like the really clear definition in the darker bits. Yeah. I'm going to leave it like that for now, we could always like blend a bit more in after but I'm going to go in with dark sepia and start adding some more darker hairs. I think this is where it's really going to like start coming together and building up that texture. So again I'm sort of trying to do it in little patches and leave like lighter bits of fur poking through to build up that sort of texture I even just darken up some of these bits really trying to look where like the darker sort of patchy areas are and I'm being quite loose with my pencil I'm not holding it too like tightly or firmly it's really lightly so then I can get like a nice sort of like loose stroke Gonna bring it down. Doing some of those little like pointy shapes. And I'm gonna do some little strokes at the edge. I feel like it's a lot darker sort of around this bit. I'm going to press on a tiny bit harder and just sort of darken it up a little bit. Add a little bit here. And then carry on bringing it down here. Turning my pencil round to make sure it's nice and sharp. I'm definitely going to darken up some little bits throughout this middle bit here. Pressing on a little bit harder just some extra depth and de de <laughs> depth and definition. Wow, why was that so hard to say? Add a little bit.
Can you see how it's like patchy and that just sort of gives that real like rabbit fur texture. It's important that you've got like these lighter bits sort of poking through there. Might just add a few little strokes just to tone it down a bit, make it look a bit less bright. But yeah, that is pretty much how I draw like uh, fur for hers or I can't speak today that's how I draw fur on like hers and rabbits and stuff like that so I'm gonna add some burnt umber in just to like blend it together a little bit more And it's pretty much like as simple as that really like it looks a lot more complicated than it is it's just about getting like the right texture in there I'm just gonna add a bit more really lightly just through here okay let's now move on to let's see let's do this bit so I'm just gonna dab away and it is definitely more like of a warm grey colour around here, so I'm going to use the warm grey one. And I'm going to add that around here. I wonder whether I need a bit of like cold grey, I don't know. But I'll try this first, see how it looks. It's going to sort of like soften it out a bit. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up to the edge at the top. So I'll use the buff titanium there and sort of like blend it into that warm grey one. Because it is more like of that peachy colour at the top. I'm just gonna softly blend it in like that. And then let's use the nougat. And I'm gonna start sort of adding the fur but I'm just sort of like mapping in where this like warmer grey bit is I'm just gonna sort of go over this whole top bit some little hairs, I might do a few light hairs coming off the top. Oh, just thought I've not done the brown ochre, have I? Let's add a bit of brown ochre, 10% in. Just thought it needs a bit more of that peachy colour. the nougat. Gonna carry on. Bringing it through. Like that. Then the burnt umber. And again I'm just sort of doing little like crisscrossing hers and trying to build up that patchy sort of look really lightly don't press on too hard so a really like sharp thin line these first strokes and then here it's sort of like it's like a dark patch so it comes like this Some 
some little hairs sticking up, some detail. I always think like rabbits, hairs, that kind of thing, it looks harder than it really is. I don't know, you can be the judge of that, but I always find once you've got the sort of process, the pattern of the fur figured out, it's not too difficult. But yeah, let, let me know what you think. Um, right, I'm going to use the dark sepia now and just start adding these darker little areas in. And very much just using like the sharp side of my pencil quite loosely. And I'm going to do this like patchy bit here. And blend it up through that light a bit. And I am going to just darken it up with a bit of a firmer pressure. And I'm going to darken up some of these bits. I'm going to do a few little hairs coming through this bit. Okay, before I go any further, I might just go over that warm grey one with a bit of Museum Aquarelle White, just to lighten it up a bit. Looking a bit too dark. There we go, I think that's a bit better. And I am going to use, let's use Warm Grey 5, Warm Grey 4, 1V, that's 4 isn't it? I'm so bad at these things. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to start doing what I did with the nougat, just building up the fur texture. Really softly. And I might add a little bit of nougat in there for a little bit of a brown tone. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to use the dark sepia to add a bit more texture and definition. Some teeny tiny little hairs. here it's sort of like a bit darker underneath like it sits on top of a darker bit of fur underneath so I'm just going to add some little like pointy shapes coming around here like that just to sort of define the edge of that more grey section like that 
and then here it's a lot more brown and a bit darker so I'm gonna add some nougat just carry on building up the fur texture And let's add some burnt umber, especially like I said under this sort of line where you can see that it's a little bit darker, a bit more of a dark brown colour there. Like that, and just blend it out a few little strokes into the rest of it. I feel like I could do with a bit more pink just in this bit. So I'm going to add a bit more beige red or light flesh. And just add a bit more and then I might use the white and just lighten it up a tiny bit because I think it does need to be a bit lighter. So I'm just going to blend a bit of that white through. Just lighten it up a tad. And if you go over any of these little wet lines, you can just add them back in. There we go. Add a tiny bit of um, nougat back in just for some, some detail. Okay, we're getting there. Let's add a little bit of nougat here. I'm just going to blend a few, a few lines in for some texture and then let's now move on to this bit here so buff titanium it's a bit more peachy so buff titanium I even just do this whole section like that then the brown ochre 10% I'm just gonna start blending it in make it more peachy Blend it into this bit. And just finish it off around here. Right, that'll do for now. So, I'm going to use the nougat and just start. Again, building up the fur around here. That bird's really loud. <laughs> I'm just 
following the direction of the fur really lightly crossing it over just building it up kind of like areas where there's sort of lines in the fur so like it's a bit darker sort of coming down here so we'll, we'll do that in, um, in a bit once we've added this first layer And then again here it's a bit more like chunky bits of fur so I'm going to do these pointy shapes that are a bit more defined and just build them up. And then I'm going to just softly bring a few up there. And that'll do for now. Let's go in with... Right, I'm going to add some white just where this bit is to just get a bit more of that light colour like we have over here. I'm just going to blend it in a bit. This is where the white does come in very handy. Bring it in. Like that. Gonna add a bit of dark sepia just in there. Just adds a bit more of a like grey tone. Dark brownie grey. Right, now I'm going to use the burn umber. Just start coming through this bit. I think we should add where this like sort of darker bit of the fur is. Where it sort of like comes down here. Just doing my little pointy shapes where the fur meets in a little point. Just sort of blending out from it. And then it's definitely a lot more brown, sort of round, round here. I think hers or rabbits, whatever, I think they're one of my favourite things to draw. There's just something really enjoyable about the fur. It's really nice, sort of texture, nice colours, and they're so cute. I'm glad I'm doing a bunny for this tutorial. There we go. And then I'm gonna darken up these these bits. And I'm going to add some more burnt ochre. 
definitely more orangey around here. Press on a tiny bit harder and just blend it in. A bit more of that orangey tone. Now dark sepia. Need to darken up this spray. And have a bit more definition to it. Getting just really light, just doing little sort of pointy V shapes. Just want to start building it up. Give it a sharpen. It is all about the crisscrossing hairs on the a rabbit, I think, to get that texture. And then I'm going to add a few more darker ones. So let's dark a bit, press on a little bit more. And a few spare here a little bit. And Darken up some of these little shapes. Like that. I actually need to blend out a little bit from some of those. Add a bit more burnt umber to like blend it all together a little bit. So sort of like lightly going in between some of these bits. Add a little bit more burn umber just around here. And I might add a bit of a bit of pins grey. It looks a little bit blue around here in places. So I might add a bit of pins grey and see how that looks. So I'm just gonna blend it into of these dark bits. Might be a complete waste of time, might not be, <laughs> we'll find out. in a little bit. I mean I don't know if that was really necessary but who knows <laughs> who knows maybe a bit of black to darken it up just a tiny bit to 
really like add some depth. really small little strokes I'll do for that top bit I think for now. All right. right I'm gonna add a bit more dark sepia just coming off the top of the head. Like that. You even like soften it up with the eraser if you wanted to. even try a little bit of warm grey warm and just sort of add some even lighter little hairs very subtle and I might just do this little bit here so I'm just going to dab away and again it's a bit more warm grey so I'm going to use the warm grey one blend that in soften those edges maybe I've done that bit a little bit too big there and I'm going to use the buff titanium for the surrounding bits like here to blend it in and here I'm going to use the museum aquarelle white to lighten up that warm grey bit like blend it all together And going to use the nougat to start adding in the fur texture. I'm going to clean up that white paper for a bit. Can I bring it down here? Some little hairs coming up. Oh, I didn't put any. Did I put brown ochre on? I don't think I did. I'm gonna add a little bit in. Don't really matter if you do it before or after the nougat. Just gonna add a bit in there. And then I'm gonna add some burnt umber. And some dark sepia. Some little V shapes. And 
gonna add a few more darker lines to the top. And a few through here. Darken up a few a little bit more. Pressing on a bit harder. And here I'm going to add a bit of that warm grey for Scurry on mapping in the fur texture. Blend it out. Bit of nougat. Add a little bit of a brown ton. And then blend it down here. Add a bit of that brown orchid ten percent first. And some bit of And some dark sepia. Gonna add a few more little bits here. And then just blend it through. A little bit of a dark bit there. And blend. Add a bit more dark sepia at the top. Made that a bit, a bit too dark. You can always like just dab it away. I might even try the Tombow eraser just to blend that out a little bit. There we go. Right, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more dark sepia around here. Not this bit. I 
and a bit more nougat. Blend it in. Darken it up a bit more, some darker little shapes, little pointy shapes, and then blend out. Maybe too dark. I right, add a bit more dark sepia through here. Okay, I think that is looking good. So, I just dab that away a bit so it's not quite so dark. There we go, a bit soft. I just add a little bit of burnt ochre just into this bit. A bit more of like an orange tone. And a bit more through here. And a little bit here. And a little bit at the top. Might even add a little bit more through this bit. I might just add a little bit more burnt umber just round here. Might blend it all in a little bit more. And a little bit more through this fur here. more around here. Right, I am going to leave it there I think for that tutorial. So, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more and I shall be seeing you in the next video hopefully. So, bye for now. <laughs>